Hello and welcome to BusyWorksBeats.com. Today we continue our beat maker series right here at BusyWorksBeats.com slash Better Beat Maker. Today I'm going to show you how to make the Playboy Cardi style under his label. I think it's called Opium Record Label and uh, Ken Carson and all them. So I'll show you guys how to get that sound. Now it's really a post-production sound. It's more than just the music. It's also a post-production sound. So I'll give you quick little plugins you could use. Um, the main things you're going to look for are like Culture Vulture, um, bias tape machines, or you guys could use uh, Fab Filter Saturn to add that rumble to your sound, or even Decapitator, actually. All right, so that's like the quick people who just wanted answers right away. Okay, now we're going to start with GMS. We're going to go to the banks, and we're going to go to really any bass. Don't obsess about the sound, because you can make the sound work no matter what the sound is. Okay, so let's just go through the sounds. It's probably the most safe sound, the analog bass. Here's another cool one. Okay, so we're also including some yeet technique here. Okay, so what we're going to do is use what's called quintal harmony. For those who don't know, quintal is five. So we're going to use the perfect fifth, and we're going to use that a lot. So here in the bass, you could either use octaves, which is using the same note twice. Or you could do what's called the perfect fifth, which is seven notes up from your root note. So it's Start at the root note, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It gives you A in this case. Now to make it easy to write bass lines, just try to write in threes. It's called the rule of three. So boom, boom, boom. Tresillo pattern is technically the name for it. So if you don't know patterns, just start with tresillo, which is three notes. Now what you could also do is the fifth of the fifth. So instead of going from D, A back to D, you could go seven notes up from A, which is E. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and you'll get a cool sound. So this sound itself is a little, it's hit or miss. So let's use our own sound here. Just to show you that you can use pretty much anything for this style. Now to come back down, you could either use a half step and go back into the what's called the perfect fifth, or you could go all the way down to the tonic using that half step. And that's a good way to wrap up, so to speak, your musical phrase is using that half step. And it creates tension as well. Okay, so we can swap this out for even a lead sound. Just to show you guys, it's more about the effects than it is the sound. Okay, so now we're gonna start messing with the sound. Th again, this part is arbitrary, but I'm gonna show you a couple cool effects. You could use the Killer Hearts Reverser free plugin. You could use the Killer Hearts Bit Crush. That's another cool effect. It adds that like yeet type of sound to the track. And then also you could run it through a granulizer. Um, there's different ones. You could try formant, or excuse me, frequency shifters. There's different ways to get a form a um, granular sound. Let's try a different sound here. I actually like the sound, but I meant to grab the pitch shifter here. So this will allow you granular, uh, granular ways of going about it. You could always blend it in. So let's add the pitch shifter first. Let's add, actually, let's do Bit Crusher, then pitch shifter, then reverse. Okay, so I'm gonna print this. Let's drag it to the playlist. Let's right click, consolidate from track start. Now we have it as audio. We could double click, go to mode, stretch mode, or you could just leave it as resample mode. Just use your time knob to lock it to the nearest bar in the playlist and then change your tempo. Good. Now we have a unique sound. Let's send that to the mixer. Let's hit control L. Now I'm going to use one of my favorite tricks, which is to send that sound to a reverb. This is kind of beyond the basics here. You don't need to do all this. I'm just showing you what I would do. Let's reset. So we're going to have a reverb and then we're going to run it through halftime. If you don't have halftime, open up gross beat, go to presets momentary, go to half speed. 
we're going to send that melody by left clicking this up arrow to that reverb track. So now we have the original melody and then we have this reverb. You will get the project files for free if you go to busyworksbeats.com slash better beatmaker. So now we're creating this contrast layer, it's called. I'll solo it so you guys can hear. So we're creating like this washed out sound. And this creates like a texture and a contrast to the melody. Now if you want to take it further, you can add a glitch plugin over top of this melody. So like I said, melodies nowadays are more than just the notes. You have to understand sound design and tweaking a sound more than it is the actual notes you're using. You could turn pretty much anything into a melody. Let's add some effects. Okay, so now we're, we can add more layers in. But let's start with the drums now. So you can go for Pierre Bourne's kit. There's no one kit. You're just looking for trap drums right now. What I'm going to do is play a downbeat and then it tresio at the end. So it's boom, tresio, like that, like that. Okay, so we're just going to repeat that. So I've noticed less 808s in the beginning. Everybody's song is going to be completely different. So there's no formulaic way about this. But I've noticed a bigger gap in modern music than like having a bunch of 808s in the beginning. We're gonna add the leads in last here, but let's add our claps in. All right, so now let's go into GMS and add a lead. I'm gonna play this by hand. So also, it depends on what type of Playboy Cardi sound you're going for, or whoever you're trying to produce for. We're going to use Quintal Harmony. This is the fundamental sound of Rage. Okay, so Quintal Harmony is when you go from, again, the root note up seven notes. So I'm going to chop this melody. Let's double click, right click, open in Fruity Slicer. We're going to chop this by either the half beat or the beat. Pull up the attack. Go to your channel rack. And we're going to send this to the mixer. So now it's chopped up into pieces. Now we have a little more control over the melody here. But notice it's not time stretched. So the first thing you need to do is actually reprint the audio so that it's time stretched to the tempo. I know we're getting a little advanced, but we're, this is what people do. OK, so double click, right click, open and fruity slicer. Slice by either the beat or the half beat. In this case, we'll do half beat, pull up the attack, go to your channel rack, hit control L, send it to the mixer. 
turn up your volume. It's going to be pretty low. Grab your pattern and drag it back into the playlist. In this case, pattern four and mute your audio. So now we're going to have a chopped up stuttery melody that we could do a little bit more with than just that straight through melody. Also gives you more control over the groove of the beat. Okay, so I'm going to slice it by the beat. You can also play these slices in reverse so you could hit reverse. A little more transient bounce. Okay, so now we need to add an edge to the sound. Here's where I'm going to start mixing. Basically, anything with a bias, I'll just show you guys the actual sound from the Thermionic Culture Vulture, but there's a couple other plugins you could use, like Decapitator. So I'm going to crank this tape, this um, saturator up, this distortion unit. That's how you get that rumble out the sound. Now, the 808 already had a rumble, but this is how you make everything feel like distorted. And then mess with the bias knobs. So now it's just a matter of changing up the chop so it doesn't play the same thing back to back to back. Let's turn off the 808 just because we want to hear the music, not just the rumble. CPU is going nuts. I'm going to up the buffer line. So now I need to match the tuning of that melody with this new melody. All right, now for this, we're gonna go to the note pitch and manually fine tune pitch each slice, just so it matches. So 
So now we're overriding the actual melody. Here's another trick. We're gonna add portamento, go into the wrench tool, turn up portamento, mess with this. So it pitch bends. Okay, now let's make this scratch a little bit more with OTT. So I'm going to mix this a little Go back and change the 808. Try other distortion plugins.
All right, I'm gonna add, add some more plugins. Let's add some pitch bends to the 808s. Okay, so at this point you could have more and more effect.
You will get the project files for free. Go to busyworksbeats.com slash betterbeatmaker to get these project files for free. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for new. Peace.